Hi, I'm Cameron. And I'm Nardine. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the 645, 645 show. show. We would like to begin this edition of the 645 show with a story that is particularly important to the Egg Harbor Township community. In memory of their son, John, the Elliott family established the John R. Elliott Foundation and Hero Campaign in October of 2000. The Hero Campaign for Designated Drivers seeks to end drunk driving tragedies nationwide by promoting the use of safe and sober designated drivers. The high school Communications Academy had the pleasure of meeting with the representatives of the campaign to discuss its message and how the community can help bring awareness to the cause. Hi, my name is Layla McIntosh and today I'm here with Christine D'Alessandro and Bill Elliott and we are going to talk to you and bring you information on the Hero Campaign. So Mr. Elliott, what is the Hero Campaign about? Well, the Hero Campaign is an organization dedicated to preventing drunk driving by promoting the use of safe and sober designated drivers. Uh, it was inspired by the death, the tragic death of our son, John, who graduated from EHT, was class president in 1996, went on to the United States Naval Academy where he graduated with distinction. Uh, and then as he was traveling home for his mother's birthday in the year 2000, July 2000, was hit and killed. Uh, by a drunk driver. So out of our grief, uh, but also out of our desire to honor our son's memory, we created the hero campaign where the hero is the designated driver because the person that hit our son had been arrested earlier the same evening, released to a friend, who instead of driving him home, put him back behind the wheel while he was still drunk. Uh, we have a number of events that you can participate in. Uh, Layla, uh, one coming up is our hero walk we have every year on the Ocean City Boardwalk. Uh, this one is October 29th, uh, but we have others in the future as well. Uh, and they're fun, they're uplifting, uh, but they still get the message across and, and they're good fundraisers. But we also would like people to take the Hero Pledge by going online at herocampaign.org or also by spreading the word with our wristbands. And also we have window decals that you can put on your car that say, be a hero, be a designated driver. It's all part of the message that if everybody had a designated driver, we could end drunk driving tomorrow. The Renaissance Club recently held trunk or treat at the high school for little kids, even though some not so little ones also participated. Community members decked out car trunks as little ones raced to collect their treats. The event promotes safety and representatives from the EHT police department and fire department were on hand to educate the kids. Madison, Canali, and I were fortunate enough to document the event. Here's a short recap of how it went down. On October 14th, the Egg Harbor Township High School Renaissance Club hosted Trunk or Treat. People decorated their trunks and had some pretty cool wow factors, which is always a good thing when you're competing in the best trunk contest. You had to get creative with your trunk decorating if you wanted to win. That's why the Sesame Street trunk took the win for the best trunk. Brady and the whole Renaissance Club started uh, Trunk or Treat. We hope to uh, get a lot of community out turn and lots of fun and games. Um, we're hosting this to gain funds for Renaissance Club. The pizzazz is how we choose best costume and trunk. Wow us with your ideas. As you look around, you see many kids dressed up in their favorite costumes playing games. These games consisted of mini bowling, basketball, soccer, hula hoops, and you could even get your face painted. They even brought out the canine forces to show what they do to the people who are a threat today. We have Officer O'Hagan, Officer Shepard, and Officer Betis to show everyone what they can do for the officers.
What a sweet opportunity for kids. Speaking of opportunities, don't miss your chance to register for one of the many course offerings through EHC PAL. STEM classes, robotics, and even summer camps are available. Looking for an activity to keep kids busy and learning at the same time? Then let's take a closer look at what EHT PAL has to offer, followed by exciting events happening around the community. Ever since 1989, EHT's local PAL Athletic League has been an organized activity center to help children thrive and become more mature through many different sports and activities, including programs like paintball, STEM, and the all-new Horse Sanctuary. So, first of all, what would you say is the purpose of PAL? purpose of PAL is to um, increase the relationship between the public and the police. The PAL has a great amount of focus on not only sports, but also STEM-related fields such as FTC and Sea Perch, which is based on underwater robotics. These fields have just as much intensity as the sports. Uh, why did you join PAL in the first place? I primarily joined it because I had just had an interest in robots and for like the first couple years I did a Mindstorms program and that's how I was interested in FLL and that's how I kind of got into Sea Perch because the coaches um, from FLL are the same for Sea Perch and I figured I might as well give that a shot and four years later here we are. And so what would you say is the general atmosphere of the competitions? One of the teams that I coach, one of their words is cooperation, which means that you cooperate while you're in competition with everybody. Do you feel you learned a lot from the different activities you've done? Oh, certainly. Like I've learned how to like solder. I've learned things about aerodynamics and hydrodynamics. I've learned how to kind of um, rewire things and test things constantly. And from an engineering perspective, that's going to help me a lot because I'm planning on becoming a mechanical engineer. So how can somebody join a PAL activity? Just contact the PAL office, go to the PAL website, ehtpal.org, and look up any of the programs that are listed there. They can support by going to any of our fundraisers, which are also listed on the website. They can come out and be an assistant coach. They can just give to the organization. Um, there's uh, PayPal connections with the website. Um, they can just pick a program or just donate towards the new building, Buddy Zone. If uh, somebody is not ready to go on a team or the teams that they are interested in does not have um, re open re registration at the time, there are classes and day camps and other camps that they can come and just do the different programs and learn about the different teams before they actually join the team. The PAL also has a new addition to its lineup with the all-new Horse Sanctuary and Farm. After three years, it has finally arrived, allowing participants to take care of horses, goats, and fowl. They also have a community garden as well. For nearly 28 years, Powell has been allowing kids to grow and prosper, all while making new friends. Uh, so, did you get any like get any new friends in Sea Perch or make some new uh, acquaintances? Oh, certainly. Uh, first, I have this reporter here, who is my friend. Um, I actually have my best friend who happens to go to ACIT right now. His name is James, and I met him through here, through Sea Perch and FLL. From now, we can only see how much PAL grows and develops as time goes on. Definitely, I would first suggest to kind of take a little bit of time to set aside and learn about what you're actually going to be doing, what's the program you're interested in, and if you can come in with a little bit of knowledge, even like the slightest amount, like what a sea perch is, then that's going to help you a lot into getting in. As for like then after that, then I would definitely suggest trying to get into PAL and become a little bit more active because this is a great program and they, they're putting a lot of money in to have a new building just for the robotics things. And it, it just feels pretty cool in the sense that you're able to like do a program with all these people and everyone's so friendly and things like that. It just it's, it's just a really good thing to do. Troy Corrington, EHG News.
tis the season for fun-filled events around our district. It's the girls' chance to hit the turf for the annual Juniors vs. Seniors Powder Puff game at the Silver Eagle Stadium on November 22nd. The game kicks off at 4. If there is a chill in the air, consider heading over to the bonfire immediately following the game, the Powder Puff game. Warm your bones and show your spirit by cheering on our football team as it prepares for its traditional Thanksgiving game. Wake up early Thanksgiving morning and head back to the high school for some football at the Turkey Bowl where the EHD Eagles will take on its rival, the Mainland Mustangs. The game starts at 10 a.m. If your Thanksgiving meal leaves you feeling stuffed, then sign up for the turkey, the turkey Trot and Fun Walk placed at the Nature Reserve on November 25th. And finally, there's a chance for the little ones to get up and close with the big guy at Alder Middle School's Pizza with Santa event on December 8th from 5 to 8 p.m. Thank you for joining us for this edition of the 645 show hosted by the Communications Academy. Have a wonderful holiday season.